gotta kill your innocence if you're a man. Women need their innocence preserved. Women and children deserve to be happy, men don't. Because men have to take on the burden of society. Men have to be willing to see the grotesquery. From all the ugliness in the world, the secrets of truth are men. Innocence is what holds men back. You want to be able to kill the innocence, kill the boy as soon as possible to become a man. Everybody in the middle always gets fucked. It's true with cars, businesses, anything. If you get a middle class job, you're completely wrecked. But if you're dirt poor or rich, you have a very similar sensibility of life. The dirt poor, no one can tell them what to do. Still got the fuck you swagger. If you are literally dirt poor or practically homeless chasing your dreams and you don't have anybody breathing down your neck, you have the same fuck you swagger that a rich person does. But the best example of low end, high end theory I've ever heard is if you go back to philosophy with Diogenes. Diogenes was poor as fuck, anti-materialist. He was sleeping under a tree. And Alexander the Great, who had just conquered the known world, was quaking through where Diogenes was sleeping. And he rolls up to Diogenes, stops to talk to him, and Diogenes is like, get out of my light. He's like, get out of my view, get out of my light. He's blocking his light. Talking to Alexander the Great, the poorest man on earth is literally telling the fucking greatest conqueror king known to mankind, telling him to get the fuck out of his view. And Alexander looks down at him and he goes, if I wasn't Alexander the Great, I would want to be Diogenes. And Diogenes looks back at him and goes, if I wasn't Diogenes, I'd still want to be Diogenes. And so that example illustrates and highlights the fact that if you stick to your true nature and you stick to your core and you stick to your own philosophy, you have zero desire to replicate or be like anybody else. There's no man that's more impressive than you when you stick to your true nature.